My name is Karen. My nickname on Khan Academy is Care Bear. And I just, um, started, just solved this challenge called on Khan Academy called ID Changer. And now I'm going to um, record the process I used to solve the problem. And then I'm going to do that with all of the challenges in this course, which is called HTML JavaScript Making Web Pages Interactive on Khan Academy. So if you are a student on Khan Academy and you sometimes get confused like I do with their challenges, um, hopefully this might help you out. So here we go. What do they want us to do in this challenge? Well, this challenge is about um, the DOM and using JavaScript to manipulate HTML in a web page. So we're going to add um, JavaScript here, they tell us what exactly we're going to do. We're going to add JavaScript to replace some text uh, in this ID card with our own name. So I'm just going to read the directions. It says, for the first step, store the heading in a variable. All right. So it says, this web page has an H1 with a placeholder name in it. Um, first and last, I believe, is our placeholder name in this case. In this challenge, you'll use JavaScript to replace that with your own name. All right, so let's see, what's it saying? Um, it's saying here we have header one tag, and it has an ID, of ID name and this placeholder text of first and last. So we're not gonna change this text here. We're gonna change it in the script tag using JavaScript. So it says t in this first step, declare a variable and store the element inside it. All right, um, and then it says, uh, you can find the element by passing the ID of the header one as a string to the document.getElementById function. All right, well, let's start with declaring a variable because I know how to do that. <laughs> um, we say var, and then to, I think it wants us to declare a new variable, so, um, I'm just going to make up something. Literally, I think it could be anything as long as it doesn't um, conflict with any existing variables. So, <clears throat> name L. Uh, and I added element on there because in the previous vi vi uh, videos uh, and lessons, Pamela adds L to any, any element that she makes um, in the script section of the web page. So, name L equals... And then, I think I'm still on the right track. Normally, this would be where I would look back at the video and watch it like two more times <laughs> to figure out exactly what she did and then, you know, follow along. Um, but I've done this already, so I'm pretty sure I got this. <laughs> okay, so it's variable name L gets this function. Um, and this function will help us find the element that we want to store in this variable, which we have named name L. All right, so document dot get element by ID, oops, and then um, we are going to pass the ID of the header one as a string to the document dot get element by ID function. So right here is a string, so I'm going to put quotes around it, and I'm going to say ID name because that is the name of the ID um, of this header one element. Cool, yay, Hopper has popped up and told us that we're doing incredible and to keep moving on. Yay, thanks Hopper, high five. All right, next step. Oh, it went right to the next step, okay. It says, next step is change it to your name. Um, now that you have the element stored in a variable, Use the inner HTML property to change it to your own name or username. Cool. All right, and then it says tip. Make sure you spell your variable name correctly when you re reference it the second time. All right. So under, still in the script, script tag, still using JavaScript to manipulate the DOM and that HTML, we are going to um, call that, um, that variable. I think that's the correct term, calling it. 
in any case, I'm going to say name L, and then I'm going to use the inner HTML property. So I had to look this up, but I'm going to use it period inner HTML. <clears throat> Um, and now this is where I'm going to change that inner HTML of um, the element that has this ID name tag, which I stored in this variable called name L. And I'm going to say it doesn't say first and last. It says Care Bear. Bear. <laughs> Care Bear, um, which is my name. Woohoo. Yep. Um, and I guess that we solved it. And um, I'm a little uncertain sometimes. It seems like you always need the semicolon, but in this case it appears that we solved it without that. So I'm a little unclear about that. If you know the answer to that question, if you always need semicolons, or if you don't always need semicolons, post that uh, in the comments. And also if you have any questions about this, um, or you just want to say hi, also post that in the comments too. I really appreciate you watching this. I hope it helped. And I'm going to be making more videos about uh, each one of the challenges in this course. So if you ever get stuck, hopefully you'll be able to come and watch a video and see how I got through it myself. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.